At Google I.O. 2019, Google unveiled its next generation Google Assistant 2.0, aimed at offering better offline support, smart features, and more visuals where appropriate. Now, months after waiting, Google Assistant 2.0 is finally here, but it's currently only available in the Google Pixel 4. Well, luckily, I have a Pixel 4, and I wanted to put the new Assistant to the test. Is it really that much better than the original Google Assistant? Or are the changes relatively subtle? If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. It really helps support the channel and I'd appreciate any of that support. Perhaps the biggest and most immediate changes are visual, and I really like the visual updates Google has given Assistant. On previous devices, when you triggered Google Assistant, it would take up around a third of the display with the white shade at the bottom, with prompts for suggestions of what you could say. Now, however, Google Assistant is much less intrusive, with a colourful bar at the bottom when triggered. On previous phones, to answer a question, Assistant would take up the entire screen. But now Assistant only takes up most of the screen, and you can easily swipe it back down when you're done. The actual visual data shown, like weather, isn't all that different, and in fact, most of the time it's exactly the same. There are new features in the new version of Google Assistant too. For example, you can now make use of continued conversation on your phone, which makes interacting with Assistant a whole lot smoother. In fact, given continued conversation, you can almost entirely use your phone using only your voice. It's all super seamless and works great, and continuous conversation is the key to it all. Hey Google, what's the weather today? How old is Obama? How tall is he? What's the capital of Australia? How many people live there? Take a selfie. Of course, Google Assistant could do things on your phone before, but you had to trigger the Assistant each time, which was a little painful. Another major change to the new Google Assistant is the fact that it now largely lives on device. Google has managed to shrink the algorithms down to around 500 megabytes, down from the previous 100 gigabytes. What that means is that Assistant can now work better offline, is more secure and private, and theoretically should work faster too. To test how much faster Google Assistant 2.0 really is compared to the original, I put Assistant to the test on the Pixel 4 and OnePlus 7T. Now, of course, that isn't really a fair test. While the phones perform similarly in general, the Pixel 4 likely has some optimization under the hood to work with Assistant. Still, despite that, I found that the new Google Assistant worked about as fast as the old version, and in some cases, the old version even worked faster. That, however, will likely change over time, and as Google Assistant learns. Here's a comparison of the two versions of Google Assistant side by side. Hey Google, open the YouTube app. Hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Hey Google, how old is Obama? Hey Google, how tall is he? Hey Google, what is the capital of Australia? Hey Google, how many people live there? Hey Google, turn on Do Not Disturb. Hey Google, turn off the office lights. Hey Google, turn them back on. Hopefully this helps you get a better understanding of what the new Google Assistant is capable of. It definitely widens the gap between Google Assistant and Siri even more. Hopefully, however, Google Assistant 2.0 will get faster as time goes on, especially considering the fact that, at least initially, it didn't seem to work all that much faster than the previous version. Thanks for watching, and again, please subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Again, my name is Christian, and I'll see you next time. See ya.